Hello and welcome to the round six review for AFL Fantasy. It's George from Fantasy Take TV, and yeah, we'll discuss how we went this week and how we did last week as well, just quickly. So, didn't get around to doing a video last week. I was just very busy, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll definitely get around to doing videos every week. Our trades were a bit. Dis- we did uh, go on to English, I think, in round two. So it actually went okay. Um, English has made money and it freed up money elsewhere, but. Yeah, had to trade him back. So English to Gorn made sense. Three week, two, three week hamstring. And then because we held Patrick Cripps, we did a downgrade last week. Took a bit of a hit fielding Rochelle um, instead of sideways in Cripps, but uh, that gave us 300k. So we could go Lipinski to Bailey Smith. So happy with getting rid of Lipinski. Bailey Smith, uh, I don't know. Just maybe the wrong week to get him in. So. Um, yeah, a little disappointing debut from him. A lot of great options, and given he's the most unproven, took a bit of a risk there. But yeah, would have gone McRae otherwise, and I think McRae was even worse. So um, yeah, unfortunate, but uh, hopefully he bounces back. I, I have him top eight. I'm probably on the lower end, but yeah, I think he can do 115 given what we've seen. But see how we go. And this week we scored 2,105. Captain Neil. Another captain miss. I think that's our third sub-100 captain. So, yeah, just losing too many points there. But uh, got to get better on that. I think we got to stick it on Dunkley. Uh, yeah, VC fouled on Baz. Um, 44k in the bank. So maybe we can do something there. Rank 9,000. So slowly climbing up every week, which is good. But still got a lot of work to do. Um, so, yeah, defense was... We'll have a look at look at averages. So defense, very happy with these six. Uh, I'd think Sicily is a, you hold him for the year, the way he's going. Same with Hewitt. Like, yeah, very happy to hold all these. Um, Short should be good. Cripps, uh, Cripps should be good. And then, like, Whitfield is, um, he's coming good. He's playing up the ground a bit more. He's looking better and better. So, yeah, more than happy to keep holding Whitfield unless something, like, injury. And then Dacos, uh, 77. So, he slowed down a little bit. But uh, no reason to move him off the ground for now so uh, we'll keep holding him a midfield took started him dropped like 150k wow that's not good so yeah that's been a horrendous starting pick i uh, brought in baz so he went up i think baz went up about 20k something like that which is fine a uh, lucky neil's been a great starting pick and then we yeah we held crips and yeah 123 last week so very happy with that um Probably should put this on last round. Yeah, last round score. So yeah, Will Brody's been good. He's slowing down a little bit, but he's scoring well in other formats. So uh, yeah, I'm, he's still a good chance for top four, I think. Uh, we'll see how he goes. Uh, we held Rao. So Rao was hunting the footy again, which was good. Slowed down as the game went on, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we'll get him off the field soon, I think. Um, happy to keep holding, I guess. He's should be better than a lot of these other rookies that are not doing well. Uh, Horn Francis, I still think has a teeny bit more money to go, hopefully, but um not sure in his break even, but uh, he will be gone probably in one or two weeks. O'Driscoll, a little disappointing, but he can bounce back, hopefully. But yeah, we obviously we want to get him off the field. And then the Rucks, Gorn, very good. Um I think probably captain him this week. And then, yeah, Bruce, we brought in on field so i think it's it was the play i think the gorn Proust, probably sam hayes this week if you have him oh yeah we have him there uh, i think that's probably the perfect ruck setup at the moment um grundy bounced back which was good and i think i probably want grundy back eventually maybe sean darcy but i feel like his durability risk is just a little too high for my liking um and yeah the fords dunkley unbelievable f1 by a mile it's not close um, Isaac a little down that's okay um, one bad score out of six that's fine no problems there um, hopefully Papley comes back helps him a little bit he does struggle a bit to get his hands on it at times but um, as the game goes on he gets better and better Cogs has lost CBAs again um, I will hold Cogs for now but uh, yeah this is a little concerning but uh, hopefully Leon gets sacked and he puts Cogs back in the middle or something. Butters, oh my god. I guess he had gastro and I, I don't think it's worth selling him. So yeah, been really, really up and down Zach Butters. So see how he goes. And then Cherry, whatever. 
He's got a bit more money to make. And then Nick Martin, very good. So you keep holding Nick Martin. Very happy to field him. So our trades this week. So there's a few things we can do. Um, so it looks like Greg Clark will play. So we can grab Rochelle out. I think, yeah, Rochelle's maxed out probably. Uh, we can go Greg Clark. So I think he's been announced to play. So we'll make that trade. And then we have 340k, so we could go Horn Francis to a mid, like a Sam Walsh or something. Oh, actually, no, I don't think we have enough for that. Or we can go for a value pick, and there's two interesting value picks, I th think, this week. Um, Luke Parker, CBA is our backup, and he's only 739k. I don't think he'll go up too much in price, so I might just wait a week on Luke Parker. Um, I'm interested in getting him in, in the forward line. Um, the other, oh man, Laddam scored really well. That's interesting. 650. Mm, I don't know if I trust Laddams. So a player that scored really, really well this week was Connor Rosie. And Rosie's been a trap in the past, but his CBAs are up and he looks fantastic in the midfield. He looks really good. A lot of great attributes. Um, winning clearances, spreading really well, run and carry around the ground. He looks fantastic. And I know he played West Coast, but I think he looked good the week before against, a, was it Melbourne, I want to say? I can't remember. So I think they will keep him in the guts. He scored 119. I think we'll take the punt on Rosie this week. So we'll get rid of like a dead rook. So say Mead, and then we'll throw Conor McDonald in the midfield. And we'll grab Connor Rosie, I think. Um, forward. Connor Rosie. So I think we'll do that. Go for a bit of value. Um, I don't know if Connor Rosie's keeper or not. If he's not keeper, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But he's looked good in the midfield. And this is a trade that could blow up. But he will make money. He, I imagine his break-even is negative. So I don't have the super coach. I'm not, I don't have a fantasy gold thing, so I think we'll go for Rosie. Uh, in terms of our buy structure, I think we have a lot in the first buy. We have four, no, we have three down back. Um, one, that's four, five, Bruce, if he plays, six, seven, eight. Eight is too many, so I think we'll have to get rid of somebody. Um, hmm, maybe Bruce will be gone by then, I don't know. So, yeah, his buy is not good, but... Um, yeah, we'll we'll see how we go. Maybe we can trade out that week or something. I don't know. I think we should probably still be focusing on upgrading, but at least Rosie will make money and he has a good role at the moment. So we'll see how he goes. Um. So those, yeah, those are our trades this week, and then we have ninety five k in the bank. Um. Let's. I think we'll play Greg Clark on field. Um. Probably play Nick Martin over Cherry. I guess. Um, I think we can. I think if we get TPPs, we can get. Um, maybe we can get Cherry on field over Horn Francis. I think somehow. Uh, we'll see what we can do, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So, and that's what we'll do. Yeah, next week I think Horn Francis down to a rookie, and then uh, Cherry up to a. I don't know. Uh, it should be a primo mid, anyone we want, hopefully. So I think we'll do that. Maybe we'll go for like just get a Jack Steele or something like that, or Jack McRae. Then our sports deck teams, I think we're ranked um, 337, so it's like okay, better than put the least effort into this and rank the best, of course. So our trades this week, we're going to do we'll get rid of Horn Francis and Durden for Hayes and Roses and then bring in Luke Parker. And then next week, we can go Rochelle down and Matt Rao up to a premium mid, basically anyone we want. So yeah, let me know what you think of fantasy this week. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.